Welcome to the afternoon session. The first speaker of, uh, the, of the session is Gabor Kish, and he will talk to us about the open source ecology. My name is Gabor, or Gabriel, and I was invited to talk about our ongoing projects here. I'm representing almost 50 people from our teams. Visionaries, futurists, inventors, engineers, architects, gardeners, IT and social media experts, enthusiastic volunteers. We have more than 2,000 registered members in our online communities and actually millions out there, if I'm correct, with the same thinking. We confronted with the fact the end of social safety and infinite growth, huge inequality, the collapse of the market economy, political and immigrant crisis, and above all, the climate change. I think we all know these issues here. But for now, we become more conscious about the situation to make some changes. And we have an ability to work out a new paradigm of living, a different way of growth, if you will. We are not alone in this. A few weeks ago, the UN presented the Sustainable Development Goals. The SDGs aim to build a better planet from eradicating hunger to preserve the ecosystem. Why these goals are great? Many people are very skeptical about the realization. These issues can be solved on global or national level of governance alone, especially in, in a market economy. Why? Governments can create comprehensive laws for our benefits, but that's not enough without wide understanding the world's complexity. The problems are connected but locally different, and affluent special interests have too much power in politics, and the public has too little. As a Gallup survey shows this year, the government is the number one US problem before the economy and unemployment. Then let's take market economy. It's inherently unsustainable. In recent decades, the volume reached the peak levels of our planet's ecosystem. The lack of the feedbacks became obvious. It could ensure the reproducing of the finite natural resources on the long run to work. The standard capitalist theory is virtually silent on the close relationship between economic activity and sustainability. But there is a new way of thinking that has brought together previously distinct fields chemistry, biology, engineering, architecture, urban planning, IT, social science, and now it's challenging the standard economic theory. It is defining Earth as a complex, symbiotic system. There are three pillars in order of importance from this high perspective the environment, the society, and the economy. Our responsibility is to detect if we reverse these dependencies. Today, the economic interests stand in front of the society. The environment is only an externality. In a sustainable world, we have to adjust the social conditions to the environment, just like economic policies, which are able to serve the needs of the society. Based on the trend analysis, we can say that if we want to save our civilization, then we must gradually return to a harmonic, stable, science-based, inherently sustainable socio-economic model. This, like all the previous economic revolutions, can emerge only as a grassroots initiative with a prominent role of informing people and shaping the values. Now, let's take a look at the Ambiente project. It's it's not a radical new invention, but an obvious solution for many issues. Sometimes a bigger impact can be achieved by simply connecting the dots. It's especially true if it meets basic human necessities. Ambient is a fast-growing, sustainable, cost-effective, non-profit, decentralized and holistic socio-economic model. If it's too abstract, we simplified it to understand by anyone. We figured out a new lifestyle, focusing on households. A laterally scaled socio-economic model begins at the tiniest piece of our society, the individuals and the families. To make our model time and cost effective, we bring domestic developments under one roof. In modern times, especially in large cities, to get food and water, energy, household objects, furniture and so on, in a reliable form, subject to a lot of conditions. Enviento was born as a do-it-yourself, community-based solution package for the 21st century, which provides share of know-how, resources, products, food and water for the members. And as an open source model, it offers business plans to anyone for free, as well as full transparency. 
why open source, you can ask. If anyone can participate in development, our community can easily grow. Technological breakthroughs appear way faster into our daily life, instead of patent-protected R&D environments. There were lots of pioneers on this road, of course. We have to mention the first open source ecology project by Marcin Jakubowski, the Arduino platform by Massimo Banzi, the open source software movement back in the 80s, and later the Creative Commons by Lawrence Lessig. The list goes on. In an open source model, members give their own resources, creativity, and experience to the commons, which is a way of self expression. No one owns the project or the output, it's free for anyone to use. This kind of social production is based on cooperation and mutual help. We asked ourselves, what if we are calling people from different fields of life, working together to open source almost everything in a household? With a holistic approach, it's obvious to have few key areas merged into the system. Let's see a few examples. The housing problem. A growing number of people with job and income can't afford appropriate housing. In other cases, we're just looking for new inventions. Either way, Ambient provides cheap and well-designed living for individuals or families. Collaborative architects make it simple to customize the blueprints that we can share for free. We look very excited to the evolution of counter crafting as the future of home constructing. We establish common interfaces and APIs in a smart home space that is still fragmented. We need easy-to-use, web-based, cross-platform interfaces for any device to serve our needs of ease, security and energy efficiency. Our partners are collaborating with Ambienta through open-source division of products and services. Renewable technologies right now tend to go open-source. Good examples of it are the printable wind turbines and few social flower projects we engage. It may be a good time to go solar or wind to reduce your consumption. My company is supplying, supplying the project with a nanotech product called AccuFresh that raises the charging ability of the lithium-ion batteries and maintains an optimal battery life. Today we can spend less on food with homegrown vegetables and at the same time we can reduce the amount of soil and water usage. A smart hydro and aeroponic garden monitors and tracks the environment. A mobile app gives your plants a voice, make care recommendations and send you reminders. I designed a 3D printed aeroponic system, just like our partners. They are developing high efficiency, intelligent, modular indoor gardens. New 3D printers are capable of printing in different shapes and sizes and uh, provide a tremendous benefit to interior designers and individuals to furnish their homes. There are millions of free available 3D models on the web and a growing number of printable products. Our goal is to make them available for homeowners, help to customize with open source softwares and printers. Huge economic, environmental, health and security benefits are expected from the coming sensor age. Big data, useful insights, as we know. We have cooperation with startups which are developing open source health diagnostic devices for everyone. We have connections to universities in Europe, involving them into water and air pollution measurements in urban and rural areas using open source electronics. The project is also focusing on open source hardware that may be useful in robotics applications and research. There are three directions of households, robotics, entertainment, home appliances and education. The robots will not move around the house tomorrow, but they are getting better and smarter every year. We can start small and build step by step. My company in South Korea plays a very active role in the field of nanotechnology with household applications from clothing, cosmetics to even surface coding. The open source paradigm can both accelerate innovation and public investment into the field. In this way, the full potential of nanotechnology will drive the next industrial revolution where matter can be manipulated as easily as software today. Growing like cells, connected to each other, sharing experiences, new communities can be included in our system which can provide for energy to each other, 
can do barters, can try individual systems of financial settlements, even in large distances and different countries. We need a distributed database for financial transactions, similar to Bitcoin, to uh, enable private blockchains with managed permissions. On our new website, we will share the planning process with version tracking, searchable building techniques, collaborating experts, constructors, 3D printer hubs according to your location. All of these, with calculating the cost of your investments, will be available on mobile to propose the lists of available solutions in your region. It can be also a project organizer for groups. The open source model has certain legal risks. An idea may be later taken, patented and sold for profit. As part of our purpose, we grant a non-exclusive license in all parts of this intellectual property. We do this through the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 share-alike license. If you remix, transform or build upon the material, you must distribute your contributions under the same license as the original. Uh, let me tell you, right after we published our ideas, the Amianta project immediately grabbed the imagination of people, including companies. Some of them has a clear view about this third industrial revolution, but only a few of them know how to engage to make a reliable profit. We think there is enough room to expand business interests in the new era, especially with an exponential thinking, but let me quote from Jeremy Rifkin. The Internet of Things is already boosting productivity to the point where the marginal cost of producing goods and services is nearly zero, making them nearly free. As a result, the corporate profits are drying up, the property rights are weakening, and an economy based on scarcity is slowly giving way to an economy of abundance. Our collaborating partners recognize it and adapt their business model to these changes. Will there be an independent self-regulation of states in our organized production-based communities? Perhaps, since we are developing liquid democracy softwares for these communities. Some issues cannot be solved with autonomous self-interest, but with deep collaboration in network commons, playing and have a greater role, complemented by government and market forces. Gandhi envisioned an ideal economy 70 years ago, based on self-sustainable villages producing tools and foods. The real revolution comes when things we produce and the villages connect to the communication, energy and logistics internet, which makes every village a mini IoT infrastructure that connect communities across regions. And when that happens, the economic paradigm changes. And that's the goal of the Envienta project. Envienta now is a registered non-profit association in Spain and Canary Islands. As we are heading to a new economic paradigm based on abundance, that's the right business model or legal form, we think. Our project center's vision to create commons-based peer production distinguish Envienta from regular companies. It requires less finance and more social capital and the principles of commons management. We are also in cooperation with local governments and residents. In our case, we have an agreement with the owner of the land to share the resources like water, food, tools, products and know-how with each other. Just like energy we produce from renewables, the use of our electric car charging station is also free for anyone in the surroundings. It is also a next generation sharing economy model. The manufacturing where we produce almost everything we need is extended with a design studio, a 3D printing hub, a chemical lab and of course an education center with local and online trainings, MOOCs trainings. We are planning to operate the project centers as tech startup incubators for local or global initiatives. The financing can then be through EU tenders, donations, private investments or crowdfunding campaigns, of course. In this case of micro-investments, we can offer a one-week course to engage in the process of self-sufficient gardening, the 3D printing, smart home design and many more. For investors, collaborating partners and visitors arriving our courses, 
the accommodation is granted at our guest house section so it can be an eco holiday for you or for your friends or for your partners as you've seen the slides before you probably think that the ambient project could be a forerunner of something even much bigger thing right as we created the open source ecology project it seemed obvious to apply the same solutions on a bit larger scale by calculating a suitable population of sustainability and democratic control in a given area. Building up project centers like Ambienta in a relatively short time frame can help in modeling, developing well usable solutions for cities. In addition to a lot of advantages, now Ambienta became the open source division of Katama Smart City project. The concept of the Internet of Things to increase efficiency and productivity suddenly begin to make sense in a city that is smart in its environment, people, mobility, economy, governance and ultimately living. Hundreds of new cities are expected to be constructed by 2050 to house about 3 billion of the world's populations. By displaying a high quality of life based on sustainability, we believe that the existence of Katama can set a strong example that impacts the sustainable development of future cities. Katama.org is where we gather to decide and discuss about almost every aspect of this city's infrastructure in society before we start the building process. At this stage, our goal is to reach 50,000 registered users prior to the platform launch. Financing is the same like Ambienta, crowdfunding or contributions for wealth, wealthy individuals who wish to see major sustainable changes in the system. Also, governments can support Katama with respecting our desire for alternative governance and economy. The forecast shows that billions of people expected to move into cities in the next decades. In the current conditions, it would be a huge disaster to the Earth, but the existence of small, decentralized hubs like Envienta and smart cities like Katema growing from it can prove that large-scale cooperation and hard work can create places where everyone is valued and the environment is protected. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gabor.